Falkirk TV is proudly sponsored by GM Landscape UK. John, a really tough game out there today and a, and a disappointing result, um, but I suppose it had to come eventually. Yeah, things didn't go for us today. Uh, guys put loads in it. I think we put a lot into the game. Uh, penalty decides the outcome of the game. Uh, we lose the ball deep in our own half. You know, we kind of like brought it on, unfortunately. Uh, it's a penalty, it's a little bit clumsy. And the guy sticks away and uh, there's nothing, nothing in the game, I think. You know. It's just difficult to uh, to break through them. There was an awful lot of opportunities. Uh, small moments in the game where if we had it done, you know, got a shot away a little bit earlier, might have made a difference. A uh, couple of moments in the second half. Don's got a header at the back post that if it goes in, you know, we uh, were very much on top then and potentially could have came away with, with all three points. And so very small margins in a, in a game like that. Uh, disappointed to lose a record. Uh, about fair play, a big compliment to everyone involved uh, in, that, in that record that we've got. We're not going to let it derail us. It's, it's going to come at some point in time. We're also wanting that to go on and on a little bit longer. 15 points from a possible 18. It's not a disaster by any stretch of your imagination. We've been away from home five games in a row now. We're back home for two games back to back, Saturday and Tuesday. Yeah, we dust ourselves down. And we get going again. I think um, we missed having Big Ross McKeever up, up top today, um, but really good to see Aidan Nesbitt come in um, as well as a sub. Um, thought he did really well. Um, is there any any news on on when maybe we'll see Ross McKeever back again? Yeah. Obviously, he has a loss. It's up to others to come in and, and uh, play the part. You know, as I said on Friday. Uh, one door closes, another opens. Uh, so it was always going to be a loss, as I said to you. Until something's not there, you don't realise how much you miss it. And he's been superb for us, absolutely superb. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, there's others to come in and, and play their part. It, the scan result showed it's a grade two hamstring injury, and the estimate is probably a maximum of eight weeks. Uh, well, I would like to think I couldn't guarantee it because obviously everything comes down to the rehab that you could probably get back in a little bit quicker than that but it's not going to happen anytime soon that's for sure Aidan Nesbitt as well um, really promising that he came on and um, didn't really look like he'd been out for a long period of time um, seemed to kind of slot right back into the rhythm, rhythm of things yeah yeah, Aidan is that type of character, you know, he's a, a, a buzz bomb type thing, so he's going to come on, he's going to get in around things, he's going to uh, inject that, you know, enthusiasm and that energy into the team, which he does, and he did. And uh, thankfully, unlike when he went on against Unfemlin, he's managed to uh, get through that. So that's a bonus, that is a, that's an absolute bonus, yeah, that is a bonus. And uh, delighted to get him back, yeah. So... Uh, you know, you talk about missing uh, Big Ross, but we miss Callum as well, you know. Callum's uh, been the top goal scorer for the last eight years. And so, yeah, it would have been nice to have everyone available, but everyone, every team gets injuries and we just have to, uh, you know, do the best we possibly can. Yeah, we've still got a really, really good squad. But when we needed something today that a little bit different, we didn't quite, didn't quite have it. Just lastly, I know we, we talk about the fans quite a lot and their, their backing that they, they give the team. Um, really nice moment at the end of the game there where um, the players were overclapping, the, the fans were, were chatting and singing. Um, just a, a testament to, to kind of how things have changed here. I like to think so, yeah. I mean, 1,700, more than 1,700 in here today. Falkirk fans, huge thank you for the support. Uh, it meant a lot at the end, even although we lost the game. They respect, you know, the run that we've been on and the way that the players played and they still put everything into it. We just couldn't get uh, a breakthrough. Uh, and, but a big thank you. You know, thank you for coming along to, to, 
you know, to game today, particular obviously. Uh, big numbers, great noise, great backing. We just wish we could have got you yeah, uh, at least even to keep the record going. Uh, and an, equ- an equaliser, we're very close at the end there, just in the last minute of normal time. There's a, a ball breaking in their box. Not seen it back yet, and uh, you know I think it's one of the ones that could easily have gone in. So uh, we're only far away. Uh, John, thank you very much. Thank you.